Hey everybody, it's Shawnee with Five Minutes with Shawnee. Tonight's a very special, I want to give you guys a special story about my buddy Jake, okay? You ready for this? Stop what you're doing and, and pay attention to me. This will be very sentimental and very emotional. Everyone take a quick little breath and let me tell you a little bit about my buddy Jake. Jake was, at, at, when Jake was born, believe it or not, when one of his eyes came down with cancer, so they had to remove his right eye. Remove his right eye. And his whole life, Jake wanted to play football. He wanted to be an athlete, he wanted to grow up, and he had vision out of one eye, only one eye he had vision with, okay? So Jake, as he grew up, he kind of got bigger, he got taller, and he was always a USC fan. So Pete Carroll, who was the, who was the coach for USC for many, many years, as you guys all know, um, took, took Jake into practice one day and said, you know, I want Jake to come in and kind of rally behind Jake and let, let him meet all my players. At that time, Pete Carroll had the best team, I think, in the country, and so Jake came down the field, but, but what he told Pete that day was that he came down with cancer in, in, in his other eye. So now he had cancer, he had one eye which was, which is not real, the other eye had cancer again too. So what he had to do, which is crazy, the next day he was going in for surgery and he told Pete, this is my last day I'm, I'm gonna see forever. Cause tomorrow I'm gonna be legally blind forever. So his vision is gone. My buddy Jake lost his vision at the age of 10, eight or 10, somewhere in there. So throughout all these years, you know, Pete left the team, went to coach the, the Seahawks. But all of Pete's coach, uh, all Pete Carroll's assistant coaches, from Lane Kiffin to Pete Sar uh, to 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 Sarkeesian to to even Clay Helton, who's now the uh, coach right now for USC, all stayed in touch with Jake. And so they brought Jake on. You know, so what happened was Jake Jake grew up, got taller, got bigger, and ended up going to high school and convinced the high school coach to let him play. He's legally blind. My buddy Jake's legally blind. And the high school coach scratches his head going, I can't put him in, he can't really see anything. So Jake's on the sideline, you know, taking a ball, figuring out how to hike a ball. He became, he learned how to long snap. So the so high school coach said, wait a second, this kid's a long snapper, he's legally blind, we're gonna show him how to walk onto the field, take the position with his other players, holding his other players, gets down into three point stands and starts snapping the ball, being a long snapper. Legally blind, how's he doing that, right? So he's in high school, you know, my dad and I knew about, you know, my buddy Jake because, you know, because we're USC fans. And all of a sudden he disappears again, so he's playing high school. So this last weekend I'm watching the football game with my dad, the opening USC game, and USC is up. It's a nail biter. They're going head to head with him with West Michigan. Um, and next thing you know, Clay Shelton, our, our head coach, calls for a timeout for a, just an extra field, for a field goal, an extra point. Well, believe it or not, I'm looking at this going, Dad, is that Jake? In comes this little 10-year-old kid who's now 18, he's grown up. He is, I don't know, six foot whatever, looks like a beast, coming in to hike the ball. They called a timeout. I'm looking at my dad. I'm in tears. I'm crying. Jake took the field, holding onto his other teammates. They, they set the count, say, hud, hud, hike. Jake hikes the ball. The, field, the, the place kicker kicks a perfect right through, right, uh, right through the field goals. For, for an extra point. My buddy Jake took the field, played football, Division One football. Who does that legally blind? The other team lined up against him, knew he was blind, didn't even go in to hit him. Because if you play on the defensive line, the defensive line's gonna come in and smack you. And lo and behold, I, you know, I didn't care about the score of the game, I cared about my, my buddy Jake. And I was like, okay dad, if he can do this, I can do this. So if my buddy Jake, who's legally blind, can play college Division One football for USC, which I consider the best football team in the world. Uh, you know, I'm kind of biased. I went there. I've been going there since I was four years old watching games. I've watched this kid from the age of 10 years old who, 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 was legal, who became legally blind at 10. And, and he basically said to Pete Carroll, when, you know, when, when he was out there, it's the last time I'm never see it. I need to take as much, as much vision, I need to take as much snapshots in my mind as possible because this is the last time I'm ever going to see. So years later, 10 years later, he, t he took the field this last Saturday and he played, legally blind. And I don't even know if, I, I mean, he, he, I think he plays golf. He's now attending USC. So that's my story for today. I mean, you know, and, and again, I, I did a little blog the other day about just let it go. Just let it go. If this kid, if my buddy Jay can do it, what's stopping you from accomplishing things? So just think about this. It's like, and yeah, it's a beautiful story. So if anyone hears about, you know, my buddy Jake, taking the field at USC legally blind, I have it easy. Yeah, I mean, and 
No one knows this, but I'll tell you a little, a, a, a little secret. My left eye, I'm about 90% blind in my left eye. But I still go through, I still do it. Yeah, my left arm doesn't work, I walk with the lamp, but you know what, so what? I move on. Because you know what, I can, I shall, I will. And we're gonna do this together. So if Jake can take the field, if Jake can, can you know, be a long snapper, and, and I hope they bring him back again and again and again, because I'm gonna watch the team just to watch him. Legally blind, we came along with dark, the glasses that were on, covering his face. He had to hold on to his buddy to walk on the field. What, what's stopping all of us? What is your why and what is holding you back? So are we ready to go and play this game? Let's go do this together. How's that sound? I mean, just let it go. Let go of all, like I said the other day, the past the past. Today's the present. Tomorrow's the future. We can create history tomorrow. Tomorrow's our, today's our time. So my buddy Jay can take the field. We all can take the field. And I'm going to put it out there to everybody. I know I'm a small little group or the community is growing. If anyone knows how to get a hold of Jake Olson at USC, I want him on my show because he is a Trojan. So everybody right now, fight on for victory. That's it. That's my story for tonight. Hope this all inspires you because he inspired me. And if you have a chance, check out Jake Olson. Everyone, this is Five Minutes with Shawnee. And thank you so much for tuning in and watching us. I can't do this without you guys. And my blog at SeanEtton.com has all my... Facebooks with Shawnee are on there. So Tina Hollins, I know you're listening. Um, I know you're speaking to a, lo a lot of groups, the, the Aaron Avillas of the world out there, the Joanne Bittners, who's my doctor, who I believe in, the Gloria Rios, who's my coach. I'm doing this because of all you guys, and there's no reason why we, we, we can't make this happen together. And because I have a chance, I'm doing a 5K on Saturday. Why? Because I choose to. You know, I'm doing a 5K, my first 5K on Saturday morning, the Triumph Foundation, with people, support people in the wheelchairs, and that's pretty big to me. It's called the Superhero Event. So I'm doing my first 5K on Saturday, and I want all you guys to come join me if you guys can. And, and Jerry, Jerry will fill up all the information on that as well. So, so we all, let's repeat this again. I can, I shall, I will. Together we'll accomplish anything. And whatever, whatever you can conceive and believe you're going to achieve. Keep remembering that. Okay, everybody on the East Coast, I know it's a little late, but I love all you. And this is Five Minutes with Shawnee. And let's all be, and let's all look for my... My buddy Jake, okay, everybody? I love all of you. Bye-bye.